showdown on the sugar white sands of Fort Walton Beach. Gun versus umbrella. And you won't believe yeah, what no. led to this beach battle. It was a relaxing day on Fort Walton Beach until a man pulled out a gun, all because of a fight over an inflatable octopus. One woman caught the scene on her cell phone. News Fight's Catrice Nolan has more on the argument that almost turned deadly. Wes Wooden says he just jumped right in and did the right thing after he saw the man with a handgun. He says he grabbed an umbrella much like this one and whacked him over the head. Take a look. This video has now been viewed on social media thousands of times. You can see beachgoers in what appears to be a heated argument when all of a sudden Wes Wooden picks up an umbrella and lays the man out cold. And he says it all started over a child's toy. And he's like, it's over a $2 inflatable octopus. And I guess the guy just walked under their tent and taken it. But it didn't stop there. And they were just telling him to go away, just go away, like, get out of here. And he wouldn't leave. He was being belligerent and started pulling the gun out and everything. That's when it really escalated. And when he saw the gun, Wooden knew he had to do something. I saw him punch one of the guys in the face and knock him down while he had his gun out. And that's, I knew it, something had to be done. Wooden says he took the gun from the man, emptied the clip, and then he and another man held him until deputies arrived. He says yeah, although no. he's no hero, he just wanted to do the right thing. When I intervened after the fact, the family was, especially the wives, were coming up and hugging me and telling me, thank you so much, you saved our family, and and there's nothing we can, what we can do to repay you, and I was like, nothing, just doing, just doing what I knew was the right thing to do. Reporting in Fort Walton, Catrice Nolan, News 5. Now, deputies questioned both sides, but neither wanted to press charges, and no one was arrested. Coming up tonight on News 5 at 10 o'clock, we talked to the woman who recorded the incident and hear what she had to say on News 5.